What's going on everybody? It's Fry. So today we're doing a really weird looking Morticia deck, but there is a uh, method to this chaos and let me explain the idea. This is sort of the great in Morticia decks that we do where you're teleporting in the late game after controlling uh, and ramping up with Cryobrain. Cryobrain, of course, will be giving you extra brains every single turn uh, for the rest of the game. Typically, we run 8 to 10 late game cards which you're able to teleport in. Uh, the best one being like either Zombot, uh, which when you teleport this in, it will destroy their entire field, giving you a 9-9. Very important card to teleport in because if you just play this, they will then have 9 Sun in order to uh, kill you that turn, usually, uh, when you play Zombot. But teleporting in Zombot is a very good strategy for Morticia. Sometimes we run things like Trickster sometimes it's Garg throwing Garg. Uh, so we're really running that deck with the early game control, controlling with your cheese cutter and your cyborg, and then you got an abundance again of like uh, ramp and teleporting cards. Extinction event will reduce, help you control, correct trades in the late game, and then just eight teleports with the teleport card. Uh, and teleportation zombie allowing you to play your zombies during the trick phase but instead of running four copies of two different types of things we're running one copy of each and this isn't actually a joke this is a really cool idea shout out to pistol pete who sent me this idea at the end of one of the live streams the advantage of running one copy of a lot of different late game cards is that you have a lot of different options for example if you were to have four guard throwing guards which is a very legitimate late game card to be running in this deck and you have two of them in your hand you really only have one play you have to wait till you have seven brains and play your guard throwing guard however if you are running only one copy of each you're running a variety let's say for example you have the garg throwing garg and then you also just have like kitchen sink zombie sometimes kitchen sink is going to be a better play this is one cheaper so you can play it a turn earlier uh this is a very good card just to go face because the anti-hero does eight bullseye as opposed to if they have nothing on the board your garg throwing garg isn't even that great sometimes garg throwing garg is the best card because they have a shroom for two on the board and this will make three gargs that turn which is better even than uh, be, it'll be better even than the, the Mechasaur. Sometimes Mechasaur is the best play on an empty board because then that will give you more potential to be spawning all your different history zombies every single turn, which are strong. Sometimes you need a heal. You know what I mean? What if you're playing against a really aggressive deck who is able to get you down to five health? Nurse Garg at that point could be the best play. So the point is, is that you don't have any particular thing consistently. You just have a lot of high quality um, late game cards. Each of them has their own use. And you're going to be picking the best one. Uh, you know, every once in a while, Viking, if they have a full block meter and not a lot of health, this is the best late game card to teleport in at five. We're just running one of them. Uh, and you'll be able to choose from the multiple choices of late game cards you have in your hand and teleport in exactly the correct one for that situation. Supernova Garg is a very good, it's cheap, has high health. It's also able to destroy a field of flying clones. We just have that option here. I mean, even running a deep sea guard just to give us a nice chunky guy to put in the water lane. If you just need cheap damage and you're not going to be winning trades on the board, that's a really good option. King of the Grill is going to be drawing you cards. This will also draw you cards for each of your other guards. It's going to be making them, whenever they kill a, uh, a plant, they're going to be drawing a gourmet card. It does work with the ability of Zombot, uh, too. So King of the Grill, you can draw a bunch of cards uh, when you Zombot. Um... Wizard Garg is not only a big bullseye, but it makes your other Garg's bullseye. Everything here has an Octo Zombie again. Is our, we wanted like a good curve. So we're running a few th fives, and the other fives will be coming from the cyborg. It creates another five cost card, so you don't have to run quite as many fives. Then you have a few four sixes, three sevens, one eight, which can turn into another one, the Octo Zombie. Now again, if you need eight damage, this is the highest attack guy, I guess, other than Zombot. And of course, then the one Zomba for the field clear. It could be like running two Zombots and fewer of these early game cards is going to be better. But I think this is unironically a very good sort of strategy. Deck list obviously doesn't look as neat, uh, but you're going to be able to make a lot more, a lot smarter plays uh, with this deck. So let's get right into it here and we will do some bets today. If you think we are going to win, okay, these games are going to go slow. Let's do eight games. And if you think we are going to win 6 out of 8 with this, vote yes. 5 out of 8 is going to be a no over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry em up. Starting with the cryobrain's nice. Um, I'm going to keep area 22 when we don't have any other minions here. Think this is okay? Is Extinction Event very good against Green Shadow, the Black Eyed Peas? Uh, I'm going to maybe ditch that. Do we keep two cryobrains? Let's keep one. And we have Zomba. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty 
Pretty good. I am going to... I'm going to Acid Drain this. This will do three this turn and two the next turn. I really would like to Cryo Brain. I really would like to Cryo Brain next turn. So let's see if we can get away with him not playing Black Eyed Pea here. I, I got to try for it. Black Eyed Pea, probably the most common turn two play from Grin Shadow players. Period. But maybe it doesn't have it. Perfect. I'd honestly rather take 5 damage one time than have a Black Eyed Pea that turns into a 3-4 here and does 3 damage this turn and we still have to rocket it later. So that was awesome. Oh, I sort of want to teleportation zombie like next turn so we'll have him around for the deep sea gargon. 6? Or on... It's not on 6, but I guess what I'm saying. It's cool. I think we teleportation zombie here, and if he plays something rocketable, I don't know what it's gonna be. It's not rocketable. Not even close. Yep, so there was an update. It's just for technical issues. I didn't even download the update, I don't think. I don't think I'm playing on it, but it looks like PvP is working, at least on this one. And uh, it's just for te again. Oh my god. See, in this case, which six cost card is the best for a Morticia? This is it. I mean, <laughs> this is the best. So that's a really, really strong play, Deep Sea Garg. It'll leave with four health still, which is ridiculous. Um, I think summoning here should be fine. It's okay. Take a little extra. Um, what was I just talking about? Yep, there's a little update. It, they're just trying to fix the game for newer devices. A lot of newer devices, Android 13 and 14 came out since they did the last update, and a lot of newer versions of Android could not run PvZ Heroes. It just wasn't optimized, so they've been working hard, listening to community. So, again, shout out to the community manager, uh, EA Shepard, who's been dealing with all of our complaints very uh, courteously. And uh, communicating really well and actually taking care of these issues. Very complicated technical issues of trying to get an app that, you know, and getting it updated to uh, newer versions of Android. So, really appreciate that. Please don't start freezing my life. Froze this one instead of the Garb Launcher? He must have another. No! I don't think that was smart at all. I think this is the thing that's going to win me this game right now. I'm not so sure about that play. We are getting really low in health. Can we, like, get something good here? Can we just get a Zomba? <laughs> okay. Hip, 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 hippity hop. Hippity hop, a garg. I am gonna maybe spam this into something next turn in case it makes a good removal play. <sighs> we do want to kill this, so teleporting this here, maybe? So that will be six, and we can still, uh... Well, if we're rocketing, we can't teleport the Viking anymore. Let's see what happens here. Oh my gosh. I almost want to start rocketing this. Dude! <laughs> Let me cook! Ow. Okay, right now... Ooh. Dude! Chill, bro! <laughs> so this does throw a Garg here. There's no egg in play. Actually, no, this will throw an egg. And then this will throw a Garg to the water. Um, I don't see the Viking being very good in one. So let's rock it. Should I rock it a second time? I'm always doing this. Should I rock it again? I mean, we're going face for seven in the other lane. I think we'll save the rod. My gut says the rocket's gonna be useful for taking out something more important than a, you know, it's a dying 4-4 that's giving us a Garg in a different lane. I think we're cool with that. Zombot in one? Gas giant in one. 
Again, really fortunate the opponent did not have freeze cards. That would have completely ruined us there. So we can still teleport in one of these here, even if this gets like cool beans. Dude. <laughs> How many banana peels does one man have, bro? So this will die. I mean, it's just Viking, right? And then we can teleport Zombot next turn. It's a fine play. So this will bring him down to seven. No block. No block meter. Boom, boom. Let's just see if there's a way to play around Brainana and Dragon this turn. Even though I think it, that was turn... That was nine for us, which means it was eight for him. That died. Oh. He doesn't have the freeze either. Like, do we go for it? Do we even go for Teleport Zombot here? I don't think we do. I think the play is Teleportation Zombie and then teleport in smaller things and rocket this lane and stuff like that. Just don't want to play around Brainana too hard, you know? The Brainana would have to go here. Did I just play into Brainana anyway? Damn, that sucks. But this is a better... So we'll rock it. This will probably be lethal still. Because it's 5, 6, 7. And one of these are Bullseye. So the opponent has to California roll. There's a 2. There's a 2. And that does it. Yes, got him. <laughs> you can see I'm sweating a little bit. I haven't done a proper... We did yesterday the 100,000 subscription stream. So thank you guys for all your subscriptions. Sorry the lighting's a little crazy. I'm in an Airbnb and... Which side is it? There's the weird glare on. It's on this side. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're good then. Why is everyone yelling highlight? All right, here we go. Uh, so I guess this is just gonna go here. Pretty good cheese cutter. Why is everyone saying what? <laughs> no, that's one person trying to hype it up. That was a fine game. That did well. Oh, we got five cost late game card. Usually King of the Grill, it's too slow, but this whole deck is all about that. Um, Cyborg is a good play. My gut says do Extinction Event to make Cheese Cutter hit face again. Or just deal with this crap. The Cheese Cutter is tearing him to shreds right now. We're just getting easy card advantage. I really like Cyborg Sugary Treat as a play now. So let's do that. Um, so there's two plays here. Acid Rain denies him a card. This will eliminate this immediately and also buff it. Um, I gut says <laughs> follow my gut today. A lot of tough decisions in the stream, but I think denying Captain Cucumber from drawing and eventually the cheese cutter will make it through. It can sugar retreat something a bit later. I think we just I think we just go face with this. There's really just sugar retreat is not a strong enough play and teleport usually won't give us another playable card. I'm basically just gonna spam this next turn as well. That's okay. He's going to proc his block. Is there anything that really messes this up? I guess he could sort of like embiggen the Captain Cucumber. It'd be a really good embiggen if he got it. 
That's better than in Big Ink, because at least the Captain Cucumber dies. It only is conjuring one card, so... It's pretty good. It kills our cheese cutter, and it also draws him, you know, conjures him a legy. Get that. We got Banana Bomb now. Yeah, I think we're still just spamming King of the Grill here. Turn 5, King of the Grill spam. Love it. Good play against, again, now, a lot of heroes would have a quick Shamrocket or something for King of the Grill, but uh, Captain Combustible, not a lot of answers to a 6-6 six, six Frenzy that's killing the Banana Launcher, 6 to phase, draw a card. I mean, is there anything he could get? Like, <laughs> uh, wow, it's drawing us extra now. Thanks, Molokale. Thank you. The worst Molokale in the history of Molokale. <laughs> it's just going to give us another card. It didn't solve anything. In fact, we're taking less damage than we did before. Dude, that's not it, Chief. That's not it. Uh, nice berry blast. That did nothing. Thanks for wasting that. Have a nice day. <laughs> Yoink. Whee. Smack yourself in the face. Yeet. I'll take this. I'll take a tea drop. A little, little long curve. Yeah, take another <laughs> Oh, healthy tree. We have all the treats. What a treat, guys. Oh boy, so now it's turn six. Don't we have a lot going on on turn six here? Let's go teleportation zombie. And we'll go with this. And we can always like use the sugary tree, healthy tree combo or something. We just need four damage, so we should be pretty good to go here. That was pretty damn good. I think that'll go in the fail camp. Uh, yep, so we are just going to buff this, buff this, la dee da dee da <laughs> That's last six, six frenzy. And we're good. Goodbye, Captain. I don't know, man. I'm loving this. I'm not sure which other decks we can really apply this for. The, the Teleport Immortician deck is the perfect, you know, it's the per perfect deck to adapt this sort of late game Highlander strategy of giving yourself a variety of plays, giving yourself cards the opponent's never going to play around. I I'm I'm really really liking this. I'm not sure if there's if this theory can be applied to other decks though. You know, I mean, usually you want consistency, you have more synergy when you're running four of each card. Called Street, that. No, what? Never mind. Savage. <laughs> <laughs> Samish likes watching me cringe. It's just how it works. It's just how our relationship has developed over the years. Uh, this is good. The, I like the Bounty Hunter cut off at four. It's really... Maybe instead of Bounty Hunter, four, three Bounty Hunters, I should run like a Sneezing Zombie. I could do that. I don't know what the other four drop would be. I could run a... Uh, what's it called? Ancient Vampire. Very sus... This is not the same Captain Combustible, by the way, right? Just gonna check. The guy's name was Fail Fighter or something like that. That's not a. This is very sus on turn one. It doesn't look like Buff Shroom, or else this would have gone in a different lane. I'm gonna go with my gut and say that the guy didn't really think about the block meter and is going for Buff Shroom next turn. It's Cryo Brain. I usually in this deck, again, this is uh, Saman who is the real inventor of this deck, not Igma, even though a lot of people credit Igma for uh, disseminating the deck, for letting people know about it. But Saman's advice is that try to always Cryo Brain. Cryo Brain's always going to be basically the best play because, um, wow, look at this guy go. I think I'm gonna do this and just to slow him down. It's just too easy to get the the hunter out. So I'll play these two. Oh, man. 
Holy hell! This feels like a hack deck here. Uh, I'll take this anyway. One only has two cards left. Yeah, always cryo brain. Like if you can cryo brain or in a different deck, there's the lurch for there's the uh, sorry the fun dead razor that draws two cards. Like always cryo brain, even if it's off curve. You're gonna just the fact you're making a brain every single turn. It gives you a, a big advantage. Since we have the teleport in our hand, I'm gonna pass here and and go for the teleport play. Turns out it was a great idea. Because now we can finally kill this Astro Shroom, which is kind of doing the bulk of the damage here. Yes! Really, though? No, okay. Oh, that turned out to be good. Wow. That's a very strange play indeed, but... Opponent's just on one... Astro Shroom is a lot less dangerous, obviously, when the opponent has such a small hand. Just holding one card right now. I think I'm just gonna plop super. We're drawing two cards here. I mean, the card advantage is real. Uh, I think I just plop super Nova Garg here. I could go two and four, but that means he can keep Astro Shroom alive. Whatever's on the left ends up hunting. Pretty sure this is correct. And again, Captain, not very good at bridging the four damage gap here. Super Nova Garg should be good to go. And then the other lane is always hunted, so... I think we're okay. Crystal Pete's here saying, Fry, have faith in the box of chocolates. We can call this the box of chocolates. Though. What is he doing, though? He doesn't know how Supernova Garg works? We're supposed to teleport Supernova Garg into the Pine Clone, not play Pine Clone, bruh. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> That's not it, Chief. That's not it. That's not it. No, the sands is good. Why is it people saying I forgot? We're good. Really good. This deck is amazing. Thank you, Pistol Pete, for this idea. <laughs> Obviously, it's not. I, I almost never use the exact deck list people send me. I'm usually like gonna mix it up into my taste, but uh, I, I'm loving this idea. I, this is so cool. I, I'm almost wondering is there any other heroes we can apply this to? Like maybe like one Plankwalker, one Gondola, one Shark. I'm thinking of the same deck with you, Giganticus. Teleporting in late game sort of creates this though, you know? 2-3, like, like what I see. I'm just gonna look for the curve here. I think that's fine. So we'll try for cryo brain here. Opponent kind of has to play around the Morticia Bat, so it's deterring him from playing a Twin Sunflower, which I love. I think we just spam turn three Bounty Hunter. It's so strong. So strong. Really not a whole lot that he can do here. More Astro Shrooms. Why is everyone running Astro Shroom today? Buff Shroom. Again, not a not a great play. We're gonna be doing four damage, drawing a card. He'll be doing three bullseye. We do have to do something about this. I guess I'll go teleportation zombie acid rain. It it should be good, especially because he's motivated with Astro Shroom to play a bunch of cards here. Oh, oh, we got the whole kit and caboodle here. Yes. So I'm gonna teleport in the cheese cutter. In case he plays another buff shroom, I can actually area 22, which is awesome. Yeah, this acid rain is gonna hit hard, guys. It's gonna be GG. He's gonna do a, a, a decent chunk, but he's gonna be out and just out. We're also gonna be drawing two extra cards this turn, which is stupid. <laughs> you wanna see acid rain? You wanna see some Scorch? I'll show you Scorch! This is rough, guys. Bruh. Wow, we. Uh, 
Yeah, block weed whack, I guess, could save this one Astro Shroom. I would not like to see that happen, yes. Oh, we're in good shape. So we'll either area or we'll teleport in one of these Garks. We got a lot of options here. Again, really nice having at least something to do in case he very blasts this. I can't even really afford to do that at this point. So again, here's a really good scenario. You have the King of the Grill that could potentially draw a card, but it's not. It's not drawing a card here. Uh, we're going to go with the big bullseye card. It's way better. <laughs> so great. We could have Area 22 in a couple of different lanes. We could have gone Cyborg Area. Mm, nah, this, this play's better. Okay. I don't care. I mean, that's basically going to do it, though. We have so... Severe card advantage right now, man. Love seeing second again from all the cards we're drawing. Got an extra teleportation zombie, which means we can put King of the Grill wherever the heck we want to put it. Solar Flare cannot deal with gravestones. And we're good, guys. He was trying to do a thing where he sets up Astro Shroom early and then spams Mushrooms and Cosmic Shroom until he does enough damage, but it's just not... Not even close to enough. We could have Area 22 for a lethal there, too. Easy. We could have Cyborg. He only had four health. Could have Cyborg for lethal. I mean, easy, easy, easy four games. Nothing even close here. Scimitar, welcome. I <laughs> got the good beard. I'm gonna trim it, but I, I like the longer. I do like the longer. My girlfriend likes it, too. She's like, oh, daddy, long beard. <laughs> shh, shh. Don't tell her I said that. So, how is Cyborg on 2, Cyborg on 3, Bounty Hunter on 4 against Spidal of all heroes? Uh, I'm gonna go with my gut and mulligan one of these. Might regret that later. Is Twitch censoring a lot of the chat? I'm not seeing that happen. It's not showing me the Twitch censorship. Oh, man. Yeah, it's really nice that we didn't bump into a single, like, dragon. Potatosaurus isn't great against this deck, because we have a lot of good answers. Even just, like, Wizard Guard teleporting in. Um, we can just rocket that next turn. It's okay doing that to a 3-drop. So we'll go Rocket. Yeah, we didn't face any uh, Brainanas or Dragons. Haven't seen a single one yet, so... Teleportation Zombie is the answer to Dragon, because you can still teleport in the big game. I think Dragon's also not as big of a problem. There's also a lot of things like on 7 and 8 that straight up just make a good trade with Dragon if you're teleporting it in, so... Oh, man, we're taking out the, the bubble as well with this rocket. Not a great play by the opponent there. These trade. These almost trade. I guess we'll evaporate that next turn. Ah, we'll see. But yeah, huge rocket. I don't, again, that's investing more than... Investing a card into an already big card is... Usually not a good idea in PvZ Heroes, because... Removal. Rocket science, man. Just so efficient. I feel like Brain Nana would, would really, really hurt this deck. But honestly, like, if you know there... I, I guess Rose is the problem. Because, you know, if you pass and try to teleport something in, then you get Brain Nana. And if you play it, then you get Cobb Cannon. I feel like Rose... It's so weird how Rose, that brainy... How, like, Smarty is, like, the best hero, you know? But... Okay, how do we do this here? Four and one, Maybe? Against Spidal turn five. I think I like this. Because this is a good trade, and then if he plays something else, I think he could put something with five health on the board. 
I don't know, man. Then we'll like teleport in Viking maybe next turn. We should have a uh, foolish block meter. Evaporate. I know you can get much more value out of evaporate late. Oh, no, nope, we're not actually using it because we won the trade. <laughs> so much for that. But like if you would have dragged this, I would have just evaporated. Evaporate you kind of just use with Immortitia when you when you have it, you know? There's our Zamba. Look at all these options, boys. Um, I think teleport Viking should be fine. Very blessed. Okay. So now what? Ooh, the Supernova Guard top deck here. See, we have three options now. I think this is it. Whatever he's planning next turn, I think I'd rather only see two, not see three. So that's a, and it's still doing the five to face. It's gonna get blocked next turn, but it's the price of business, you know? Uh, this looks pretty good. Maybe we'll Viking. Maybe we'll just block lane four with the cyborg. Are we gonna see like Dandelion King here? I'm a little scared. Soulfish. Ugh. Jeez. Now, is Extinction Event ever an option? It really prevents a lot of damage here. I'd love the Supernova Garg to kill both of these. Honestly, this was turn seven, so turn eight turns into nine next turn if we cryo brain. Yeah, I'm doing this play. Wow. Wasn't expecting not to teleport in a five drop this turn, but that's how this day is going. The evaporate also will be active even if the Zomba doesn't happen next turn. Do I have to play around him killing a 1-5? Like, he's not blocking and getting it super, too. The front one blocks, by the way. Front always before, is it always ahead? Is always earlier than the back one. But now we got Zombot. I don't think he's good. He would have to have two berry blasts. I think we just go for it here. I think that we go for the greedy, greedy Zombot. Worst case scenario, it's evaporate and who knows. No! No. The good news is I'm pretty sure we don't even have to evaporate this. This will kill both. It does five to the front and then kills the back one. And he only has one card left. I think we're good here, actually. That should kill both, right? <laughs> That's not going to be some weird game mechanic because it's going through the either of, of space. Okay, well, unfortunately, they, they ruined our play last turn. So now what? Do I just Zombot this right now? I think I just Zombot Cheese Cutter. What's the other play? Is there another play? You can go five and five. I'm not really feeling it. I think it's just Zombot. This will proc the block. This will do nine. Little cheese cutter in case he can stop this play somehow. I think cheese cutter here, you could go here because you don't want him doing nine damage in this lane somehow, but I don't I don't know what he has that does nine. Poison oak. Poison oak in two will win him the game. I'll play around instead of playing him against something double here, which could you know, blocking Zombot and then doubling up here, I think is the uh the key. Maybe it's better to put Zombot here so it kills both. Eh, anyway. Blockbuster, and yeah. So this man's just trying to survive. Uh, super... Super in, in, in three is a good play. It'll kill that. Nope. Splash, fortunately, doesn't really matter much. We still have... See, now... We're still holding the evaporate. I probably should have just used the evaporate on the three one. It's just having a whole extra option, an extra card, is probably <laughs> probably best here. 
So we'll go six. And five. This should do it. Between the five damage and lane one, and then we have overshoot in four. Lanes two and three win anyway. He's got that for a superpower and worst one he could have got yet. That'll do. All right. <laughs> this is going so incredibly well. This might be, you know, we've done so many versions of the controlled early game, teleport something crazy in, in the late game for Immortitia. You know, I've done Zombot, Mechasaur, Trickster. I feel like Zombot, tr Zombot Trickster for me was the most consistent, most powerful version. Um, but if anything, this is like the ultimate form. This is also not only very effective, but very fun. I'm loving the variety. I did not run Portal Technician in the end, and I'm not regretting that decision, because I do like the that beautiful 5-0 and on the screen, which is Super Nova Guardian, and so many things this deck better than that. This deck? How does this deck feel? It feels great. It feels fan-freaking-tastic. That's how it feels. 1, 2, 3 is good. I wonder if I mulligan this now, because it's off curve. I think I do, actually. Tell You know, always want as many teleports as you can, you can get, so... We'll spam cheese on 1. See if we can pull it off. <laughs> yeah, we pulled it off. It's gonna be some kind of freeze play now, so we are gonna be able to cryo brain, which is awesome. Here's our turn five King of the Grill. Yeah, this is doing great, man. Cryo brain. Let's let's burn the burn the two brains here and get it back over the next two turns, you know? That's a little annoying. I, I really don't like the fact that he's getting away with dumb snow pea, but it is killing this and buffing his car. That's a very high value snow pea there. Kind of only worth it. I guess Snoopy. Maybe Snoopy's better because it is good against space time, against teleportation zombie, drone engineer. It's not a bad card. Even if it loses a trade, the, it, you'll even out next turn by playing something in that lane and it'll just hit a frozen guy, you know? So now what do we do? I, I'm just too afraid of him having a freeze. I mean, just the chili pepper even stinks here, man. If I play a gravestone, we get fro we kinda get frozen no matter what. Alright, we'll YOLO him not having a freeze and he'll have a Captain Cucumber or something instead. Or a cool bean. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, very sad if he just iceberg lettuce is this because then it dies for free. Not a whole lot I can do about that. I think what I'm really like doing now is just kind of weathering the storm. Maybe I should have committed this though. No way. And now he turned me into a factory. This is the worst case scenario. This guy's gotten a really, really strong start with the snowdrop. Okay, maybe cyborg bats would have been better there or something. That's hard to even say though, man. <sighs> so rough. I guess we'll teleport these in. <laughs> Cryo Brain's a freeze card. When you play Cryo Brain, it should buff Cryo Yeti. Changed my mind. He felt confident this was not going to trade into his repeat moss. Yeah. Uh, we're in really, really rough shape here against the snowdrop. And I, I hate the fact that this died for free. This guy's really utilizing the snow piece. Awesome, man. We just have to weather the storm. If we can take advantage of the, you know, card advantage we're mounting up here. <sighs> See, I'm afraid we're not going to be able to teleport. This sucks, actually. So we'll go four and just a chump block. We have to, and then two, maybe. <clears throat> two somewhere. Ugh. And I'm getting repeat moss now? Well, how is this happening exactly? So now what do I do? I'm really afraid of this, but now the black IP is going to live. This will proc the block. I, I think I just have to wait this out and not play the superpower we get here either. Summoning, we'll do this next turn for the uh, for lane four. Ugh, at least black IP is dead. 
Yeah, we really need a rocket science, and we're just not finding it. And again, it's getting a little bit low. There's Rocket. But if he has a trick, this King of the Grist, we can go four and three. I feel like it's going to be summoning Extinction Event or summoning Area and then Rocket is the better play. So if you have tricks, then I just, I just die. I, I almost feel like rocketing the repeat moss. Oh no. <laughs> okay. So rocket. I mean, we have to take out the one killing us now, right? It's gonna be you and probably area. No, we got a one attack guy. That's not good. That's not okay. All right. Well, we can't area 22 anymore. I needed something with two attacks from summoning, so this would die. But anyway. So here's this. Block evaporate, please. I need some I need something to win this game. I need one thing good thing to happen. Here's you. I guess this can go here. That's pretty good. And then we guess just go like any of these, I guess, in, in four. Holy moly. Uh, our last two superpowers are evaporate and um, and su summon. No, we did summoning. We did bass. Evaporate and acid rain. Both of those. Well. Okay, so if we prox our block here, evaporate and acid rain. Oh no. So if we if we well, <laughs> so complicated. But basically, we do this one. And we have to block and get eva uh, uh, Acid Rain. Evaporate will not do anymore. Can we get Acid Rain? <sighs> yes, we're alive. And the opponent now is down to one card, kind of. We have the card advantage. If we come back and win this game, guys... That's kind of awesome. The problem is, what if he plays a, a trick? We have to live and die with him not having a trick, man. Is there another play here? Like, 5-1-3? I'm not feeling that play. This is still winnable. We, using this to teleport in, it's likely he doesn't have a trick, it just has minions, so we'll block something with the cheese cutter. And maybe this Garg throwing Garg can launch us back into this game. We really just need to dodge, like, like, you know, some kind of, you know, growing trick or something like that. What else you got, bro? Three more damage? No, freeze. Okay, so the freeze isn't bad, because it doesn't grow this. So we are actually able to block this line now. All right, here we go, guys. I mean, it's gonna come use, he's in a top deck scenario. I think we kind of have this one in the bag. Gargolith is so cool because it, it heals our guard throwing guard. It also does seven to face, which is hefty. So now we just play two cards and we have it. We're able to play two cards. So it's gonna be you. Put the higher health one in front of the one that's you know, the one that can can burst better. And Bigin won't kill this anymore. And there's Sporticus. Guys, I think we're pulling off the I think we're actually pulling off this comeback. I don't know what this guy's gonna do. This will have one health now. We're drawing two we're drawing three cards this turn, by the way. Just saying. Nibble, little heels. Never hurt anybody. And we're also getting this <laughs> deep sea guard. I think we pulled it off, guys! I mean, what we'd have if he if we don't get a card. Well, first of all, we're getting all these more gourmet cards. We should get a minion to play. Oh my gosh, we got all tricks. No, no. Are you kidding me, guys? The one in three. 
we had the comeback. We had it fully developed. There was no way he was gonna win unless he got exactly block super there, man. No way. No freaking way. <laughs> you know what? This is why I do what I do, man. It's for moments like these. Come on, man! <laughs> Come on! I'm in denial. That didn't just happen. That didn't just happen. That did not just happen. The comeback of the year followed by the com reverse cut. It was the reverse comeback of the year, man. That was wild. That's insanity, man. It's very endearing that it takes you so long to process sudden losses. <laughs> it's not mentally processing. It's emotionally processing. I just can't. I mean, did not. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. Oh. Crazy, man. So we're five and one. <gasps> Nurse would have been good. Oh, no. I need some water. Hold on. Do we keep both of these? I just feel like it would be extremely sad if we got... Forget-me-nut nutted. <laughs> I haven't seen a single forget-me-nut today either. We've seen some black eyed peas. Other than that, this would have been nice to take out. Do you remember your fry em up YouTube opening? You mean the fry em up duty duty duty. Yeah, of course I remember that. Uh, all right, we're getting aggroed, but yeah, this will allow us to make a little comeback here. <clears throat> so I'm not really feeling the, the, you know, this you can drag out. This will kill two for one, and we still have acid drain and, and extinction. It's really good, dude. That's fine. You're looking happy Moving and here. Healthy, my man. This Congrats is so good, guys. This is Great brutal. Brutal. Uh, acid rain, I believe, makes cheese cutter go phase. So that's that's worth it, because this will draw us a card. A better card than acid rain. Acid rain, not a great card. This card, usually much better. I'll take one cause cryo. Yeah, hell yeah. Thank you, Scimitar. Looking happy and healthy, my man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So now we'll do this and, and uh, instead of teleporting, we'll save the teleport for later and we'll do 
cryobrain now. It's only turn four, man. <laughs> We're gonna have seven next turn. <laughs> so great. He's gonna move here. Ooh. This guy's using the Rotovegas really nicely. That still lives. <sighs> but yep. He's cryobrain. Uh, we are drawing here. He's not doing damage, at least, which is good. So, we have a couple options. We could teleport. I could guard throwing Garg. I'm just a little afraid of Shamrock him, man. Probably teleporting in one of these is good. There's no Brain Nana yet. We'll spam more once he can Brain Nana, you know? Na 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 na. So, it's teleport. Um, alright, so pros and cons. This is Bullseye. It'll be 8 damage Bullseye. But you don't really have a clear way of winning after that. I mean, we could get 6 here. This will draw us 2 cards, so I think that's better. And proc the block. I think that's better. Yeah. So we'll be down to 7 health. <clears throat> but he's gonna have no cards. We have a lot of cards. Can we get like some cheap stuff here? Like some nibbles? <laughs> I really just want nibbles to... Oh, Trapper territory works. Oh, we rolled a one? Okay. Wow. So having the luxury of rocket is kind of nice here. I, I, You know, this is very strong in one because he really has to deal with it. But I think having rocket as a... As a backup plan this turn, we also have environments we can set up. Trapper territory. I think that's gonna be it. <clears throat> See what this guy's got on turn six. Just needs seven damage. We're a little bit low here. I guess he had a he got the jumping beam from Cosmic Beam because it had team up. I wasn't paying attention. So that's awesome. Uh, Area 22 looks pretty good. I mean, it does... It does 6. It does block 6. And then he already used his... Yeah, none of his... This is guaranteed lethal, I think. Yeah, this is it. There's another play where you ran, but this is guaranteed. Block. I don't know, there's none of his superpowers prevent it. He's got two superpowers that don't affect the board at all. Light Speed Ugly and his ultimate. He already used the tractor. He used the tractor during that elaborate turn three play. And uh, it was just Lieutenant Caratron doesn't affect the board there either. Not in a meaningful way. All right. All right, so we're six and one, and we'll go for the uh, seven and one. Should be seven and oh. Come on, guys. Come on. Fry, how was your day? My day's going great. Fantastic. <sighs> DJ Virus. This deck is awesome. This deck is awesome. I love it. Again, we don't have as many Zombots, but instead you're teleporting in something three turns earlier. I love that, man. Zombot too slow. This deck's the real version. This is a very tempting early game hand to keep. It's a very good answer is also like Captain Combustible. I think it's fine. Oh, you're right. Lieutenant Caratron would have hunted it out. Oh, you're right. Oh, Quasarel is, is saying that it wasn't actually guaranteed there. Lieutenant Caratron, I forgot. It doesn't move anything with its hands. However, this is the better play. Um, it, it does make the hunt activate from the Bounty Hunter in 4. Oh, you're right. We could have actually not, not won there. Oh, and then he would have gotten three damage. Ooh. Yeah, that was a little rough. But we win the trade against Berry Blast because he doesn't get anything. We get five cost five five. Not a great card, but it is a card. It's better when you teleport it in as well. Uh, yep, yeah, this is the play now. Congrats Teleporting in. Of all the things you teleport in this deck, they're great. Cheese Cutter is one of them. Uh, I think I'm just going to make... The cheese really is just as good as Captain Cucumber, and we do have an answer to that next turn, so... 
The Captain Cucumber will draw two cards into the cheese cutter. It's not worth it. Let's just conjure our card as well, you know? We're doing two damage as well. Ooh, a little bit of ramp? I think I'm going to go for the ramp here. Oh, the Supernova Gark is wild. I might Supernova. Second Captain Cucumber, see who play, please. Second Captain Cucumber, please, please. Okay. Yeah, but this Acid Rain is wild. Dude. It's drawing a con. I don't like that play. Wait, so what's the play here? So we could go Extinction Event area to stifle the Doubled Mints as well. Extinction Event is pretty good. Is Supernova Guard the... I don't think that is. I think this is it. I think it's Extinction here. Which makes his Captain Cucumber... You know, if we Supernova Guard, his Captain Cucumber at least draws a card. But this negates the Captain Cucumber almost completely. It doesn't put 5 damage on his face. It puts 3 Bullseye, which is close to being as good. And uh, kills Double Mint. And that's huge. We don't have to worry about that. There's a rocket. 3 6 against Captain Impossible is so good. So we'll either teleport in a 5 drop or we'll rocket Acid Rain. Uh. Alright, well, this goes here. The Double Mint is not dealt with. But we'll, we'll, we'll worry about it later. The Supernova Guard is. Pretty wild. Takes out the umbrella. Yes! So here's this. It'll do one plus one. <laughs> Sad. Double mint hunting grounds. Hybrid. We're, we're doing excellent, obviously, in this game. There's Zombot. So, we could end up needing a rocket this turn. It's more likely he has a berry blast or a plant food. So we shouldn't be relying on this. I, I, I'm not seeing Rocket being incredibly useful, so let's just develop you. And we still have Acid Rain to correct this trait. If he doesn't do, if, if you know, if he doesn't do anything to help his doubled mint, it'll die here. Pretty good. Oh yes, the bets are settled. Yep, there's the Berry Blast. Told you. Doubles that one. That's perfect. So much better. Yes, Acid Rain is so is the best card in BBC Heroes here. Negates that. And kills the double. <laughs> this guy's gonna concede off of that. But yeah, he didn't. Uh, he didn't pay attention to which superpower I have. So here's teleportation zombie. Still have a rocket. Love to see it. Nice to have a little backup plans. So kill this for free. Kill this for free. Two bullseye to face. This game is Jover. Let's give the fries. The answer is that only 52% voted yes? Wow. Only 50... Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Is it 52% or is it... I'm looking at the summary. Or maybe one person voted very heavily on no. So, no. 49% voted yes. 49 users voted yes, and 23 people voted no. So one person just voted a lot on no. That's why it ended up being 50-50. Okay, I understand. <laughs> Two-thirds of the chat believed, and they were right. Wow, we Look at this guy go. That's a rocket. Easy rocket. There's no point in burning the teleport. I'll do that next time. Uh, yep, so we'll do three damage prop the block here. Watch him repeat Moss combo as <laughs> this last turn. <laughs> Against Captain Combustible, you are never safe! <laughs> I'm glad. So the Great Zucchini must have been, yeah, it was eight cost, so. It's the one card he conjured from the, that cat, one Captain Cucumber shot. No, 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 I was, jo I was joking. I was joking. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. Oh, <laughs> the... Wait, uh, there's no other way to do that. Yeah, banana banana peel was not it. Don't get another banana peel from that. <laughs> and it's lethal with, with baseball zombie for the win, guys. Just saying. Yes. All right, guys. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, Pistol Pete, for this idea. It was awesome. Wow, we. I almost want to just try to think where we can apply this idea of having such a variety of cards that, again, don't, you need a deck that doesn't have... 
Syner one part of the deck, it doesn't synergy is not the thing. The late game in Morticia, unless you're running Trickster with tricks in the early game, but really the Zombots and the, they're all their own freestanding cards. Maybe we'll try to do a version of this with you, Giganticus. We'll run like Teleimps for the beginning of the deck, and then we'll run just every BS brainy and sneaky card. There's some really good niche sneaky cards like Shark, not an amazing card, but very good niche Gondola. Same thing, even Plankwalker. You know, it's not the best version in the world, but sometimes it is. Every once in a while, it definitely is, you know? And Blob, even. I love it, guys. I love it. Absolutely love it. All right, guys, that's going to be all for today. That was the Variety Late Game, the Late Game Highlander Variety Late Game deck. Grimmore Tisha. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.